Just uh, making some pens here and all. What? Well, how are you now? Anyways, uh, just doing chores here. It's supposed to be a bit of a snowstorm coming through. Chance of rain and minus 15 or what the hell it is. That's kind of weird. Uh, yeah, I don't know. That's a little bit odd. I hope it don't rain, but I guess we'll see what happens. We're getting snow right now and a fair bit of wind. Uh, no new calves yesterday or this morning. Other than we had a bull calf yesterday morning. So that was kind of nice. Uh, yeah, anyways, I'll get a little snapshot of him. He's our first little uh, bull calf of the year. And he is a titanium calf. That was his uh, sire AI to titanium. Uh, anyway. I'm going to uh, keep on feeding here and I don't know, I'll bring you back in a bit, I guess. Um, I gotta push some snow. We got a load of uh, liquid sulfur coming today. So I gotta uh, move all that snow out of the way of those uh, tanks. So that's the plan. I don't know if I'll do that next or not, but look at the visibility, it's quite shitty. So, anyway, I will go shut this gate and get back to you in a bit here. Well, what do you know? That's kind of neat. I haven't seen you today, that's why. You're having babies. All right. Well, we got these little buggers to the barn. Now the kids have something to do. Kids can take care of the kids, hey, and mama. Are you guys happy? Yeah. She had them in a green bin. That's her hotel. There, she's gonna have a little rest. This one kinda doesn't really like standing up. Oh, that's right, it's probably tired. But this one isn't. I was sleeping when you found him. This one's standing up. Yep. Well, he probably was the first one born then. Which one? This one. Oh. Maybe. Did you ask it? I can't talk to a dog. Well, I have to go <laughs> like that. Right, Flint? <laughs> There, it'll be warm in the heat. I never out. want to sell them when when we when they grow up. They're mm. so cute. <laughs> it's the only female goat that's left here. Because he's cute. <laughs> oh, the little tails. If you touched her back, then they wagged her tails. Like this. <laughs> Usually. Oh, now he's tired. Well, it's got the cows fed in the pasture. Can't see because she's fogged up. But Mama Nature, give me a give me a windbreak. What the hell? There we go. So, dumped a bunch of snow over by the windbreak there, so I fucking piled her up as high as this little guy would lift. And, uh, it should work pretty good. The snow was just fucking blown right over top of him, so that's mint. 
Anyway, put a, I got the bale feeder full and then it's nice and cold out again, obviously. Blowing, snowing, whatever, minus 25 this morning uh, without the wind. So, I uh, get, just gave them a bale on the ground too. They can, whatever, pick through it. It's some of that stuff that we, where uh, we see the grass on the Francis quarter, which is the quarter that's south of our yard. And we cut the grass and we hate it. I don't know, I think I got around 38 bales or something off there. So, whatever. Kind of free hay. It still cost me something to make, but I wasn't even uh, going to cut it. And then Ashley said, well, maybe we should mow it. So, she went down and cut some of like the, the wheat and stuff in there with the mower. So, that was good. And then the mower broke. So I said, well, why don't we hay bind it and then we'll bale it up. So whatever the fuel was and twine and shit, a little bit of time, I guess. But that seemed to work pretty good. So it's nice green grass hay with some wild oats and a bit of volunteer wheat. So that's good. So that's what they're eating now. Plus a uh, 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 slew hay bale they got in there yet. So, But it's, it's pretty windy out where the bale feeder is and it's full. So I took that other bale and dumped it in behind the uh, uh, dumped it in behind the windbreak there. So it should be okay, I think. Oh, I'm only in third gear. No wonder if it's going slow. Anyways, we'll go and uh, get an update on the calves, I guess. The two in the corral. And I've already fed the one in the calving pen. He's doing good. Mom's doing good. And... Well, if I end up going back there, I'll get you a bit of a video on her again with the little guy. Our full first uh, bull calf of the year. Just want to move the snow out of the way here so it stops drifting. If I can, it's getting pretty hard here already. This little guy pushes pretty good. Um, yeah, so anyways. That's what we'll do. We'll go to the barn and check those little goats. They'll be alright anyways, but Mama's gonna need some water and some feed here pretty quick, so that's what I'll do. I'll bring you back in a bit, so talk to you in a few. Well, guys, just heading to the... Look at all the fucking wind blows, eh? Like that. Right up over top. Anyway, we're gonna... We're going to the city. I gotta take a blade back. It only lasted like 10 cuts and, uh... Fucking carbides are bust off, so I gotta take that back to my buddy Chris at the Princess Zacos. And uh, Nick and Amanda are up there, so a guy's gonna pop in for uh, for uh, lunch and see how that goes. So, see if we get kicked out of the fucking restaurant or not. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. Anyways, good new. Talk to you later. He's Fat not, tree. he's not dead. <laughs> Fat trick. Fat, Fat trick. Fucking shit you seen Regina. Yeah, would y'all look at that. Would you just... Whoa! Oh, have man. a look here. Oh, fuck it. Blue a rubber! Fucking trying to find the guy in the Walmart. Ain't worth the shit. So here's a little titanium bull calf. And mom sounds a little bit hoarse. I'll have to keep an eye on her so she don't uh, have pneumonia or some fucking thing, but... Anyway, maybe she just had some shitty hay or something, but got to keep an eye on her. Maybe uh, get them moved over to the other pen there tomorrow. When this wind bugger's off again. Son of a bitch already. It's freaking wind. There's my, uh, our uh, calf warmer right there. Nick. That's when I was telling you about at uh, PV Mart there today. Anyway, so we can get this shut. You guys like looking at my wood? Fucking bastard. Come on. Nah. Okay. So when I take them water, I just get out of the uh, water bowl. I got a, uh, what do you call it? A four liter or whatever milk jug. Cut the spout out and then I just put it in the pail and take it in there works pretty good so anyway 
I put this panel in here the other day. This one that the legs were broke off. So I got those back on and you want to bring animals up here. You just bring them down this wall and then up into here. Then we open this gate up and then they can't come back out of here. So that works pretty good. Then when you want to take them out of here, of the shed, take them down and out through that gate and over to the big corral there where the pears go. I still got to get the uh, tractor and dig all that uh, broken lumber up out of there and then get that uh, windbreak in there. So maybe tomorrow, see what happens. But I had to go to the city today, get a bunch of shit. So anyway, these girls will be probably, hopefully within the week. I think that one here with the blue tag, the red one, and there's a black one with the blue tag. I think they'll be here probably fairly soon. Not, I don't think overnight or anything, but fairly soon anyways. But it's uh, supper time. So I'll bring you back with a goat update. I dug out some more uh, small squares. That's what we're feeding the cows in the shed after the calve. It's all second cut. Look at that. Nice. Anyways. See you in a few. Well, she's cooler than a $2 pistol. It's like minus, uh, what the heck was it? <coughs> it's morning minus 36 without the wind. That's what it said on the temperature. Wind chill of minus 50 something. So that's good. Anyway. I'm just uh, digging out some bales here. Last of our straw bales. I had them all sitting kind of goofy there in the row, so sitting on end because I we usually like to uh, mushroom stack them. I like mushrooms. <laughs> just kidding. Done them once. Fucking parked the guy's car right on top of a fucking wheat pile. <laughs> Ah, oh, shit, anyways. Sick you doing here, kid, eh? Anyway, I uh, I got these two ugly ones here yet to try to dig out if I can. I don't know, we'll see. See what happens. But uh, I need two hands here, so I'll bring you back if I get it out or just make a mess, whatever. Talk to you in a bit. Well, got her all hooked up. Put that wire up there to hold the hoses away. Anyway, I give it a good shot of WD-40 in here and it seemed to get it to go pretty good. Did this too so I can, uh, I always thought this tractor locked the fucking PTO on when it wasn't, uh, when it was hooked up. So I'd always unhook it there and then I could spin the rotor while I cut the twines off. But, Apparently, uh, apparently it all spins, so I'm not gonna worry about it. But anyways, I'm under here. I got this log fire starter thing, and then uh, I just take it and I zing down one side like this, melt it all, and I turn the rotor, and then I melt all on the other side. So I don't know, works fucking awesome, I think. So if you guys got a processor and uh, I'm on, this is the third pail, that's the fourth pail. Um, uh, what was I going to say? If you got a processor and you want to get the twines off, fuck is this dusty shit. That's what I use anyways. I used to use a, uh, oh shit the hell is it called? I used to use my knife like an Olfa knife with a sharp blade and cut it but that took way too long and I've uh, used a torch before too but sometimes it starts to more or less just tries to start on fire too much but anyway it seems to be turning a lot easier now so I'm going to turn it down 
Another thing you can do too is uh, right there, that's where I got to be. So all the twine is there. But let's go, go that half a turn, I guess. And uh, then you should be good. So basically, there's a fuck, I got a broken hammer. I got a, a pail here and a pail there, and then I should be good enough. And before I go feed, I'll uh, just fire it up and whatever elder twine is on there that doesn't want to come off it should fling off so yeah anyways good enough i'll see you in a bit here Holy shit been out here for over an hour cutting the twines off anyway that's good enough good new uh, i gotta feed these guys right billy right clover right orange guy hey Head. Oh, Smokey it is in here. Alfalfa? Got a cold ear or what? Alfalfa. Oh, buddy. Oh, Alfalfa. Hiya, buddy. Hello, Billy. There's soda. The mom soda right at the back. I got a video on this one because I got a spark on my uh, uh, lens up here. And it goes blurry, so... Anyway, so I'm going to feed these guys and then I'm going to go and bed the cow-calf pen. Talk to you in a bit. This is nice. Hey? Oh, she's over here. Minus 32 out. And just hanging out with these guys. Nice. Seems a goat took their shed. Hey. Oh well. Anyway. He had to come in and warm up. So. He spent the day with Ashley and the kids. <laughs> so thanks for watching. And we'll see you in the next one.